country. A friend of mine just asked me, why you pick for this winter an N1 DC jacket? I want to share with you why, and let's go to a characteristic of the jacket, and let's see if you agree with me or not. See you inside. Okay, this is the uh, N1 DC jacket that belongs to the cold, uh, cold weather system where it's uh, formed by an N1 overall and N1 hat. Uh, and this is, this is the jacket. This is the wild use and no jacket. Uh, first, let's talk about the jacket itself, the history of the jacket and see how, uh, how this evolved. And then we're not talking about the materials and after that, why I picked this brand. Um, as this jacket born in 1943 uh, as a replacement of the Peacock and is with the system of uh, cold, uh, cold, weather, uh, for cold weather conditions. Uh, and at, at the beginning, when it was released, the color was a blue navy or dark blue. In 1945, it was replaced for a khaki version or was coexist with the khaki version. After the Second World War, the, the servicemen discharged. They, most of them, they take this jacket with them. I was started to and been wearing in the civil life. There was, uh, moreover, there was a, a, a flow of these jackets in the surplus shops that make this uh, while available. These make famous for two, uh, um, they become famous for two, two, two situations. First one was where by the um, riders or motorcycle uh, gangs, and the other was where by uh, famous uh, uh, people like uh, Paul Newman, have you seen here, or James Dean, and other famous people. This jacket uh, is seen, I think, I can say the first time in a, in a, as a civilian clothing in the Wild One, the, the movie of uh, Marlon Brando, uh, where one of the members of the Beatle gang wear this jacket, have you seen in the picture. Uh, after that, this jacket keep, uh, um, keeps on service until the 60s, where it is replaced for a new, a, a new interaction. Uh, and they finish the service at the beginning of the uh, Vietnam War. Uh, this jacket is very simple, only has two materials that form this jacket. There is no, no uh, complications, it's a very uh, simple system of construction. And the, 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 there are two parts, the shell and the lining. The shell is made with a better cloth, with a similar white cloth or belong to the, to the, the family of the corduroy that evolve as a jungle cloth. Uh, what about this, this characteristic of this? Why is, uh, was used? First one, the weight was 14 ohms from the very beginning. That was a thick cloth. And due to the tight waving, they give pro uh, properties as wa uh, water repellent pro properties and wind resistant properties. That was, was uh, used as a shell in this jacket. The lining, in the other hand, was pick uh, the alpaca lining. I'm not sure it's 100% alpaca because the alpaca is very, very expensive. The large producer of alpaca bull is Peru, and then Chile and Bolivia to produce this alpaca. There is some production in USA and New Zealand too. That's my knowledge. I think in Australia too have this kind of production. But it still is very, very expensive. In this case, this jacket has uh, 40 or 50 percent of alpaca, the rest is bull and cotton. Uh, there is another interaction that uh, offer alpaca like uh, uh, Real McCoy, which uh, I think is is still is a blend where it's uh, um, around 50 percent is alpaca and the iron uh, iron heart that use um, I think 30 percent of alpaca for the lining of the jackets anyway what why alpaca and why not just bull or other linings the alpaca has a, a characteristic that is uh, superior to the bull really uh, it has is more breathable than the bull is warmer than the bull and has isolation properties. Also, is water resistant. Is hard to set on fire, and is lanolin free, which give you uh, hypoallergic characteristics. And is considered nowadays a luxury fabric. 
uh, this the price of the, if you look in on internet the price of the alpaca any alpaca garment is really really expensive but in this case we're talking about this 40 percent alpaca and using all the characteristics it's understandable why this jacket was uh, meant to be used in, in, in the ships in uh, hard weather conditions, uh, has all these characteristics. Really, really is understandable why this, uh, uh, this jacket was built with these two uh, materials. Uh, in terms of uh, the characteristics of the, the, the design of the jacket, it's very simple. In a straight jacket, that's why here, that has a, um, how is a wind flap with tied with buttons, urea buttons in this case, and the closure is. So let me open. This is the, the the characteristic of this N1D jackets. Is in this case it's very helpful to original, but it's a zipper. In this case, it's talon zipper. It's a talon zipper that as the original one. It has only two pockets here. Is be, the length is below the, the hips, is below the hips. Uh, that means it's not that long. It's very comfortable to wear. And inside has no pocket, just the line, which is very soft and nice. You can wear this on your on your skin and there is very, very comfortable. And the construction is very simple. I'm gonna go through the, 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 the review the how is the characteristic of the construction. Uh, in this case, I pick Bas Rickson. There are other, there are multiple productions, multiple iterations of this jacket, but I was looking for something faithful. I, I used to own one and one this jacket um, homage. It was very cheap, and the characteristic of the link was synthetic lining, and the shell was very light. And, and, and I, I recon that I really enjoyed the jacket because I think it's very, very uh, fashionable, very stylish, because the simple construction can be, uh, can be used with any casual outfit. That's where it's jeans, where it's uh, uh, chinos, where it's uh, trainers, where it's boots, shoes. Uh, with a with the jumper, with shirts, everything matched really well with this jacket. Now you can find this version in blue too, if you like dark colors, or in khaki. And there are some uh, companies like Iron Heart produce in green and use not waxed cloth that give more um, water resistant. Uh, then let's go. Why I pick Boss Rickson? Boss Rickson. As a real McCoy, they produce really, really faithful re um, reproductions of the, from the original one. I have the chance to, to see this, compare this with one original, and it's very, very close, very close. That's why, and the fact that it has the, the line of the alpaca lining make me choose one of these. Uh, mm, the real McCoy was uh, 200 pounds more expensive, 300 pounds more expensive, really. Here in, in UK, you can find this for, in real McCoy is 800 pounds, and this is 700 pounds. There's 100 pounds difference, but I bought it from the uh, for Inoja, where they pay 400 pounds. That's which I save a lot of money. Uh, of course, the, the, I do a, a really, really good research in terms of measurements and sizing before Dubai, because that's, there is something that the, the Japanese company has is the difficult in the in the spot the right size for you more for us because the, the designs usually are aiming to the Japanese market. Anyway, then I pick this over the real McCoy and over the Iron Heart, which are really good quality. I also have in my hand one of the Iron Heart are really good quality. But there is something that um, despite I really like Iron Heart as a brand. They they pull me back. Is if you see in, the, in this picture, the uh, the lining of the uh, sleeves are synthetic, which I'm not really happy with that. I have I have plenty of jacket that has synthetic lining, and always the sweat in the arms you cannot wear in in 
in simple skin. But it's, it's for me, you know, it's that that's happened to me. That if you, you are happy with that, of course, you, you can pick it. But in my case, I pick this over the other two. One of because the price, because the real McCoy is very close, very close to the original, is minimal details. And the 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 iron heart is 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 has some difference, has more pockets, uh, and the quality is really good. But I'm looking for something like this. Anyway, uh, let's move to now the 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 review of the characteristic of this jacket. The jacket is size 44. Is 44. You see here, 44 size, which is very important to start to see what this is. If you want to pick one of these, you have the chance to get one from, from one of these Japanese jobs that sell uh, Box Rickson. I want to measure this first before to go to the characteristics and construction. This has a solid construction. I, I'm, I'm, I'm really happy with the, the construction itself. It's very solid, but let's see the measurements. It's 44, 44 the size. Then, Armpit to armpit, which uh, is 44 and labeled as extra, extra large. You see, for the Japanese, this is 44, this is extra, extra large. Which, uh, from the American uh, sizing, extra, extra large is not 44, it's 48. Uh, um, I think, 40, yeah, 48, I think. Then, let's see the armpit to armpit in a 44 size for the from uh, Bas Rickson. Okay, it's 25.5. Then, thinking about it, my size is 44 chest, 44 inch, real 44, or 112 centimeters, and this is 25.5. Uh, that means it's 51 inches, really, this, thinking about it, if you're gonna wear, uh, which I don't think is necessary with this because it's really warm, a jumper or um, um, a few layers, you need a space. And this is a very sweet space because uh, 22 is my size, is, uh, is my flat measure, and here we have three more inches of space. Enough space for layer up if you want it. That is important. Usually, what uh, how I think for pick my measurements. This is a, a, a tip. Usually, it's in the jackets. I I like to have at least three inches in this heavy jacket. If these jackets are more for springtime, is one or maximum two inches that we only gonna wear a, a t or, 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 or shirt, a t-shirt or, or, or t or, um, a t-shirt or a, a shirt, just no more than two inches uh, as space. Usually what I pick, because having 44, I pick 46. That's me one more inch uh, in, in flat measure. Instead to 22, I go for 23.5 as maximum. Anyway, the length. The length itself is, the length is fantastic. It's 28 inches, 28 inches. That's mean below, below the hips, 20, 28 inches. The um, sleeves, the sleeves are, must be 26, 27, uh, 27 the sleeves, 27 uh, measurements. And the opening, let's see the opening. Then let's go to the characteristic self after that. 24. Uh, 24.5, that is the measurement. This is very, very square, simple, simple design, a straight jacket, two pockets, simple. Then, let's talk about why I pick uh, this from Bart Rickson to complete that. Bart Rickson belonged to Tosho Enterprise. Tosho Enterprise initially was called Kosho and, and Company, uh, was uh, started in business in 1940. It was uh, aiming to uh, provide uh, uniforms and clothing for the army and start to import export fabrics. After the Second World War, uh, Kosho uh, focused more in provide garments for the, the army, uh, the army um, that has bases in Japan. 
Uh, in 1965, this uh, part of the uh, member of the company opened uh, Toshio Enterprise. That's the aim is first is to produce uh, shirts, jackets for, for as a souvenir for the, the, the soldiers and then get into the production of clothing for uh, Vietnam War. That was his hit. After they the finished the Vietnam War, they started making um, products for the internal market. And they focus in the reproduction on uh, military garments from the Second World War, Korean War, and Vietnam War. With our, they are nailed. I suppose they uh, have access to all this, uh, um, how is, um, um, models from, from what produced at that time, and then they keep up with that, knowing all the characteristics and, and requiring from from the the contract as a contractors. They keep producing this and are really, really faithful. Real McCoy has the same, but is more expensive. This is more affordable in terms of uh, price. If we're talking about the price, uh, Iron Heart sells 700 to 700 pounds. Uh, um, I know in dollars could be 800, 900 dollars. This uh, was here in in Bush Rickson, UK is, is 700 uh, pounds and the real McCoy is 800 pounds. That means um, a price, um, the lower price is more or less the same in these two brands. There are other brands that uh, I cannot name because I, I do a, a, a huge uh, research uh, related with this uh, jacket and it's too many to, to name, but these are, I think, are the best of the best. Of course, there are others that are really good. And there are cheap options with different kind of material that could fit your bill if you don't have uh, the budget to go ahead for this jacket. Because this is expensive as a leather jacket, eh? That's, don't forget about that. Well, the construction itself, let's move in, into that. It's, as you say, simple construction, can two, um, how is it? two pockets here, then the, yeah? The neck with a, um, a flap to close here to reassure all urea buttons in this case, urea buttons here too. This is a window, uh, windproof uh, flap closed by buttons, okay? And there are two more characteristics here. Well, the zip already we say is a talon zip and has a core to adjust, has a core to adjust uh, and tight, made tight to, to the body. It uh, also has the cuff to prevent the, the wind get into the, to the arm because the, the, um, the sleeve are, um, has a lot of space. Then you have this cuff, okay, made of wool. And that's it. And the, um, the bends under the armpits, the bends, yeah? that's four bends. And that's it. That is the, 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 the construction. That's simple like that. Uh, some people m miss or uh, to have a, a they want to have a, a, a pocket here, but really I don't use it. I don't need it, and I'm very happy with this this interaction. Uh, in terms of construction, the construction is very simple. A really good density of uh, stitching. Really good density of stitching. As you see, there are some loose thread here, but it's in the way that it's constructed. That means it's, it's a stitch first, the, the, um, the bottom hole, and then it's cutting through. That's why you have all these, these uh, threads coming here, but it's really, really thick stitch. You, know? you see, uh, really thick stitch. And the density is really good. There are simple stitch here, simple stitch here, and double stitch where it's the the the, stre um, the stretch points you no know, is uh, this here with the, the zip on the sides yeah, on the sides on the shoulders on the shoulders on the arms where the sleeve meets uh, uh, meet the body of the shell the pocket has a bar tacking yeah they give uh, strength. Yeah, and durability, bar tacking, and that's it. The interior is the same cloth. The pocket is the same cloth 
okay? And that's it, this is the, the simple construction. It's very, very simple and very effective construction. Uh, Price-wise, of course, it's expensive, but if you can find one in, uh, in these companies like uh, Inoja or uh, who else? Uh, Inoja, I know for sure they, they sell uh, bus friction. I don't know, uh, maybe Bears or Dinimio. Dinimio, I don't think so. They sell some sugar cane, but I don't think they sell uh, anything else. Um, and that's it. That's a simple construction, effective, really good, uh, solid construction. It's really solid. Look at the, the stitching. It's the same. There's a good density here. Like, that's it. It's a good density of stitching. Yeah, and, um, and here with, with this, uh, the, the fabric is uh, with, the, with the lining, it's very, very good. Here, look at this, this is a characteristic of the time. We see the vents outside, the vents are not exposed, that means there is not going to be, uh, um, how is, um, contact with the exterior, that means it's protected, okay? And, and, and it's amazing. The construction is, is really good. It's really, really good. The core is fine. This is a metal aluminium uh, protection for the core. Uh, the, the color, look at that. The color, that construction which make this very, very strong. It's, it's a really good jacket and it's really warm. It's really warm. Uh, and I think we cover everything of this jacket, everything. Um, now we need to try and see the final, the final thoughts. Uh, I think this is a jacket that deserves really good attention in terms of the quality. Uh, I know it's expensive, I know it's expensive, but uh, I think it's worth it. Anyway, let's see how it's fitting on me and let's, talk, let's do the, the, the final thoughts. See you outside. Okay, this is how fit the jacket. Simple design. This that's the length to the hips. Both pockets here, and that's it. Nothing else. Okay, the front, the side, the back, the other side. I'll go back to the front. Alpaca lining, talon, uh, talon and strong zipper, flapped storm with the urea buttons, I call it a period. The calf, yeah. amazing. This is a really, really nice jacket. It's very simple and very comfortable and warm. I give you my final thoughts, but before to give you my final thoughts, please, if you like this video, consider subscribing, thumbs up, help me to keep growing this channel. Thank you so much. Well, what do you think? I think this is one of the most simple, basic and stylish jackets for winter. This can be with any casual outfit. If you want sneakers, boots, um, shoes, uh, chinos, corduroy trousers, jeans, even uh, bull uh, winter trousers. That's been fantastic. Uh, with a shirt, with a turtleneck, with a sweatshirt, uh, anything goes well with this. Uh, it, this is the only brand, the brand, uh, the only brand I recommend. No, it is not. I bought this because this is the most accurate to the period and what I'm looking for. Instead to buy second hand, I decide to buy this because it's, it's the same. It's the same. Perhaps exactly, it's a really good copy unless you like um, with a vintage jacket. But in this case, I think you're looking for something uh, accurate to the period. Is this the jacket? Uh, what other brands I do recommend? Iron Heart is really good. Um, McCoy is really good. Then they have uh, 1920. It's good. Far more expensive, but it's good. And there is other brands, cheaper brands that produce a similar uh, jacket or um, very accurate jacket to this model that are are, are good. All depends what you're looking for. It uh, could be the lining completely synthetic. They're gonna be very affordable. And, but I think if you're looking for something versatile, that keep you warm and can be used in, in any situation, this is the way to go. My other choice is the peacock. But about that, we're going to talk in later. See you in the next. Bye.